Hey folks, it's Rifgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Prison Architect. Like that. So we're going to get a whole load of pipes being brought into the delivery area. Then I'm going to have to get lights, and I'm going to have to put those... Oh no, no, lights is already in there. What it doesn't do is it doesn't copy and paste utilities. Lights it has put in. So all i got to do is put in power lines and pipes. There. Is that bit. Now, electrical cable. I should be able to run that one through. I don't want to join the other one in. I'm not going to have enough power on that. But this bit I should be able to run through. So I'm going to join it from the top line up here. That's going to go up to there. But then I'm also going to do it from here down like that. And we're just going to go straight across there. And I'll join that one across that way and that one will go across that way once this pipe in the middle has all been placed in I will also oh can I just do that anyway I think I can I think yes you can actually order both of them to be placed in at the same time so there's a load of electrical cable that's being brought in up here I've got prisoners who are waiting for somewhere to go 113 criminally insane with a capacity of 179 is still saying I've got seven unable to be assigned to a cell. It's because I've got four minimum security that shouldn't be here. Why am I getting more come in than I've got room for? I've got four minimum security that shouldn't be on site. Are they deliberately pushing in more people than I can take? Fill the 398. I'm only taking those two, and I've... I know why. It's because, temporarily, that wasn't classed as criminally insane. So I took in extra prisoners to put into there, both minimum and normal security, and they weren't able to cope with them. There, yeah, normal security is now down. I've got 70 and capacity 70. Uh, we've got... Capacity, I've got four standard, uh, four minimum. That still, So I need some to go out on parole or something like that uh, to be released. And then there's some additional criminally insane that I think will be all right. But it's saying that there are some that can't be assigned to a cell. And I'm wondering if that's because they're supposed to have a better quality cell than they're currently in. Because I do have the cell ratings thing going on. Whether that's going to make a difference i don't really know I'm, I'm actually seriously considering turning off the cell ratings thing but yeah i won't worry about it for a moment okay needs staff needs much better that is much better we we do have some slight bladder issues but uh, for the most part they're all right the staff room there and the staff room here Certainly make sure that it is big enough, they've got plenty of room to rest, and I've noticed that they still go into the warden's office to chill out and not do a great deal, just every now and then. They seem to like using the warden's office for a chill-out spot. Ooh, I need one more thing up there. Objects. A small bench. There and there. And a small table there. Right. That's looking pretty good in there. And then we will speed this up. And we can let them deal with everything that need to deal with in here. While they're doing that, I want to have a look into programs. And let's just see how we're doing. Workshop safety induction. I've still got a load of people interested in that. Kitchen safety and hygiene is doing all right. I've got one person past carpentry. 17 have finished and one has passed. We've got a few people who are actually doing the course. Foundation education is 52 people. General education, have got three people have passed that one. So that's still going on. Behavioral therapy, we've got 53 in the queue. Only one person has passed that so far. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how good that is. Pharmacological treatment of drug addiction is working. So is alcoholics group therapy. Guard taser certification. We still need to be working on that. Parole hearings. 
we're just going to keep those going. I've only got nine in the queue, so that's all right. And then spiritual guidance, that's doing fine. And then finally, we've got psychiatric consultation for the criminally insane. 60 finished, 60 treated, 100%. So that's just kind of something that goes on there. I don't really know quite how it works, but it does. That is now completed. I've now got a room completed. So let's go to deployment a minute. And assign guards. I've got no guards assigned in here. Right, first up, I've got cell doors in between there. So let's get rid of the cell doors first. Uh, walls and doors. Demolish walls. Demolish those two. Demolish those two. I've got a door up there, a door up there, and a door over there to allow people in and out into this area over here um no canteens accessible by this cell that is because it's probably going to be the wrong deployment it is wrong oh dear this is going to cause me some serious problems right criminally insane only how many times do i have to do that that one is criminally insane only same as that one over there We've got the walls moved out of the way. Now I can assign guards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guards in here. Orderlies. I'm going to put ten orderlies in here. This one I've got four. I'll have five orderlies and four guards in there. These are criminally insane. We want to make sure we've got enough people in here. And I will be able to... That's, I think, what caused the, the main issues that I had with the prison. Now, why have I got a shortage of water right there? Utilities. Oh, I didn't put a pipe in. Right, well, that's easy enough to take care of. I'll put a pipe in there. That one doesn't work at the moment, so I've got to put a pipe there and a pipe there, which is something that I've done previously on all of them and I put one there as well that will take care of the rest of those needs then I want to go here and I want flooring sandstone and I want to put that as sandstone and then grass up here I want to actually complete that as grass all the way down through there and that bit as well. And then I want to go to utilities in here. I want electric cable. That one to go over that way. That one to go over that way like that. So that will allow light to be brought down into there. That's starting to look a little bit better. And I've now got plenty of room for all of my prisoners. Five minimum security arriving. That's fine. And three normal security. That's fine as well. I have 111 criminally insane. I have a capacity for 183. And I've got a capacity for 108 maximum security. And I've only got 60 people here. And now I've got one person unable to be assigned to a cell. 41, 41, 70 and 70. Oh, I see. That is because they're supposed to be well-behaved, and there isn't. There are no free cells. It's to do with... cell quality. That's what it is. That's what the problem is, is it's cell quality. Look, if I go... Logistics, cell status. Room quality. Why is that poorer than that? I don't know. Oh, it's because it is a poorer quality room. It's a different type of room. It might be better if I turn off the, the room quality. That seems to be the thing that's causing us the biggest problem. Right, you go in here and I go to policy. Use cell quality ratings. If enabled, prisoners will only be assigned to a cell of quality they deserve based on their behavior. Poorly behaved prisoners will never be assigned to a high quality cell. If I turn that off, I should have prisoners all able to be assigned to the two cells. Two prisoners unable. Yeah, the, 
they will be able to be. Who are you? Solitary, misconduct, destruction. Criminally, in he should have a... It there should be a cell for him. They got cells down here. I got loads of them. And I've actually got, if you look into cell status right here, I got a load of empty cells. Right, I got loads of empty cells down here. That shouldn't be any kind of a problem. But the rest of the prison is now working very well. Like everything does seem to be coming along quite nicely. I do want to put um this up here. I want to put one of these in here. A a thingy majiggy. A metal detector. That there, like that. And then in here we could also do with walls and doors uh, no flooring, sorry. Paving concrete floor. There. That bit I want concreted over. That bit I want concreted over. That large jail door I want to dismantle. And then that bit up there I want to concrete over as well. Flooring. Concrete floor. Concrete over that. Right. Just get rid of those little bits. And... You. No free cells. Right, where am I supposed to put you? Normal security. Minimum, normal, maximum, protective custody, supermax. So I, I could choose to put him somewhere else if I wanted to. But he now does have a free cell. So they are able to now be put into the cells. They'll still get annoyed if they're put into the wrong cells. But generally, they seem to be alright at the moment. So I could increase the number of people that I've got in the prison. We could, we could get some more coming in now. If I go to intake right here. Supermax, no not Supermax, criminally insane. Right. Let's pause a second so that I can just figure out which one. Total prisoners. Take in total prisoners. That's what we want to do is we want to take in total prisoners. Oh, wait. Uh, total number of prisoners you want in your prison intake will automatically top up to this number each day. No, I don't want that. Number per day, 35. Right, that's what i got to do. So I will close intake for the lower ones. And I will take 35 criminally insane. How much capacity have I got? I've got 107 and I have the capacity for 183. I could easily take 50. So I will take 50 of them, and I'd also like to have some maximum security. I could take 40 maximum security, and I still have a few left over. So we will go maximum security and criminally insane. So I will take it like this. And I just got to keep bumping the numbers up like this. So I could take, I said 40 maximum security and about 50 for criminally insane. So if I nudge that slider a little bit. There, that's 38 maximum security and 50 criminally insane. 40 max security, 53 insane. 53 insane, we'll put that up to 160. And that will also give me 40 maximum security. We'll take that. There, 93. That's going to give us another 200,000. That's what I'm going to take tomorrow. Let's go. So we got a whole load more prisoners going to come pouring into the prison. And that's... I mean, our capacity is up to 402 now. The next thing that I want to do is I want to build out this way. I want to go out quite a long way. I want to build two sections out this way and start building a supermax. I mean, I'm already able to cope with the criminally insane, and they're more difficult, apparently, than the supermax. So we will do something similar, except that you know, a supermax, I was thinking of this, these cells, but these guys are going to get really annoyed if the supermax have got better prison cells than them. So we will keep those cells for supermax as well as maximum security, and I will do it like that. Danger level is increasing. 123 prisoners are shackled in their cells. Um, 
18 have been unnecessarily searched. 160 of serious complaints. Uh, not sure. Right, well, the staff morale, at least, is now high. It's at 98%. And here come the new prisoners. A lot of new prisoners. So we will allow this to just keep pouring through. They're going to um, dump a whole load of new prisoners out here. They're going to come into these cells here. And they're also going to go into the criminally insane ones. This is going up big time. Probably because of the sheer quantity of prisoners that I got coming in. Definitely not going to want any more after this. So I think in I should do fill capacity. Close that, close that. And then open those two. So they go back to filling capacity like we have been. Then go to needs over here. So we've got family needs, exercise, food, luxuries, literature. We don't have a prison library. Should I be building a prison library? Is that a thing that we should have? Not quite sure, to be honest. But I have now got all of those two prisoners unable to be assigned to a cell. Rubbish. Maximum security is now 104. Well, who's unable to be assigned to it? There shouldn't be anybody unable to be assigned to a cell because I'm not using the prison cell quality anymore. So what happens to the ones that can't be assigned to a cell? It doesn't even tell me where they are. Oh, we could probably do with some more guards. Couldn't we? I've got 140 guards and I've got 402 prisoners. So we're going to definitely want more guards. Even at, at one to three, we're, we're pretty... We're, we're running tight, but I would prefer to run one guard to two prisoners because we've got so many uh, more dangerous prisoners in here. So I want 200 guards. I'm going to add in an extra a whole load of guards here. There, I've now got 200 guards in here. Orderlies, it says 50 at the moment. I've got 150 criminally insane, so I want a minimum of 75 orderlies to cope with all of those. One orderly per two prisoners. Uh, there, right. Lots and lots and lots of staff. Coping with all the prisoners, keeping them all compliant and doing what they're supposed to do. But why have I got a prisoner unable to be assigned to a cell? That makes no sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. There should be no prisoners that can't be assigned to a cell. Why have I got a criminally insane person in there? Do criminally insane people have different levels? That's what it is. Is, is that what it is? The criminally insane ones, are, are they got, like, different levels of... Right, those are high risk. Normal risk. Low risk. And then criminally insane. So what is it about these? Why have I got some of the criminally insane in here? I've got them sleeping in these cells in here. They shouldn't be over here. Look. Why is he in there? This is... This is what's causing me problems, is that, that they're in the wrong places. Logistics. Uh, deployment. Right. Minimum security only. That one. That lot. Medium security only. There. Definitely. Then maximum security only. Here. That canteen and there. No, the other canteens are fine. Insane security only is down here. And should probably set that as insane security only. And then oh, I've got a little area in there. That's access only. There. Staff only. Ooh. Right. That should be staff only. That should be staff only. That should be staff only. Then, maybe I should have that as staff only. There shouldn't be... 
prisoners going between there, should there? I suppose they they would be able to go up round that way. Hmm. No, that that can stay as it is. I think that that should be all right. And we've got the insane security there. I've got orderlies assigned in here. And I got orderlies assigned in there. We've got guards assigned everywhere they should be. Oh. Maybe we should assign a few orderlies into the canteen. I'll assign five orderlies in there, and I'll assign three guards as well, just to help out. Let's press play on there. And away you go. That's what's causing our problems, is the insane security prisoners are coming in. Look, him right there, criminally insane. Search cell, search cell block, end punishment. Feel a constant level of suppression require padded cells and psychiatric help to keep them calm. Why is he over here, though? This is a bit that I don't understand. That's why I've got people unable to be assigned to cells. Because they're in there. Right, he's, he's criminally insane. Actions. Solitary. Lockdown. Six hours. I mean, his... What have I got there? The actions. Um, he's status unstable. With him being in there, is he stopping other prisoners from coming in here? Uh, this this prison cell right here. Who should be in here? Him right there. He's minimum security. He, he's quite normal. But this dude, James Chapel. Oh, he's being punished. He's he's being suppressed in there. He's being punished. Locked down six hours. There's Diedrich. He wants to come into his room. Ah. Right, he's... That's not stopping. So he's just, like, there where he is. Locked down six hours. He shouldn't be... He shouldn't even be up here. So how do I stop them from coming up there? Do the criminally insane need to go up there, and do I need any prisoners from up there coming down here? I'm thinking I don't. So what we want to do is we want to keep that separate section, the, 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 the section separate. So I want to do staff only in that area there. There, now I've stopped them going through. I want to stop prisoners going through here. Janitors and so on can come through. Prisoners cannot. That's what we will do. That's that's how we're going to make this work. Uh, foreman, psychologist, gardener, janitor. I've got 20 janitors. I'll get some more. We'll get another 10 janitors. Now, let's get another 20 janitors. So I've got 40 janitors in here, and I'll double up the number of gardeners i got as well to pick those up to 30. Like that. Excellent. Don't think I need any more than that. So there, I've got plenty of janitors, so they'll be able to do cleaning down here. And then I've got deployment. No, I don't. Uh, logistics and cell status prison labor down here. I'm going to get rid of those jobs there, because I don't think the criminally insane do any jobs. So we won't have jobs available in that one or that one. But I will assign jobs up here. Like that. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to keep the criminally insane down here. I don't want them going through anywhere else. If I put staff only up this side, is it going to go with staff only? Two prisoners cannot be assigned. It's not going to tell me where the pri these prisoners are, is it? It's not going to be. It's, it's not going to make it that easy for me, is it? It's not going to tell me where they if they're not able to be assigned anywhere is it is is that that would be too easy let's go to logistics deployment like this so i'll put that one there as an access only yeah that can be an access only uh i can't really put staff only i can put that we'll, we'll put that one as an access only down through there like that and also insane security only no i won't no i won't do that just access only down through there 
Although, that is all they would treat that as anyway. So, that's, that's not going to really make a huge difference, I don't think. Let's see if that change... I think that change there is the most significant. I want to keep the insane security prisoners down here. I don't know why they were heading up here into the rest of the prison anyway. They shouldn't have been. So, with a bit of luck, that will keep all of the prisoners out of where they have been messing around and where they should be. So, you here... I'm going to end punishment, I think. He's sleeping on the floor in here. Actions. Escort to the infirmary. Someone come and get him and take him... Get, get him out of here. Don't want him... It, right, there is an orderly. He's on his way. Right, he's come to get him. That's good. If I've got that there... Uh, staff only. Prisoners are not allowed to go through there. No prisoners coming through. But I don't want other prisoners coming into this region anyway. But what about when a prisoner from down here needs to visit the infirmary? That's a bit more of an issue. Because I, I need several of them visiting inf the infirmary. I don't think that is the... I don't think that's what's causing it. I don't think that's why I've got a, a prisoner unable to be assigned to a cell. Where and why? Alright, they're all... There's something going on here. and it's, it's not telling me. That's why. This is the really frustrating part. Is it's not telling me why they cannot be assigned to a cell. I've got no indication as to why they cannot be assigned to a cell. I've got various different cells in here. Some poorer quality and some better quality. But it's not explaining which one cannot be assigned to a cell or why such a thing might be happening. Uh, look out here. I, I don't see anybody that's not assigned to a cell. Maybe he's in solitary. Extremely volatile addict. Five days without incident. Yeah, he needs to stay there. Hmm. Over here, I've got injured people in med bays. And they're all right. I don't know, though, if the injured criminally insane can get through there in order to be able to go to the infirmary, because I've got that as staff only now. Probably not. They might have to be led all the way up round. So I'm not 100% sure on that one. Now, wait, what? Seven, unable to be assigned. It's to do... Right, it is to do with these insane people. It's got to be. It's absolutely 100% got to be something to do with them stopping other prisoners from being able to be correctly placed into their cells. Right, I've got you in here. What's, what's, what's happened with you? What, why, what's going on with you right there? You're in punishment at the moment. Right. He's being punished. I've got 102 max security. I wonder if that's anything to do with it. Maybe the maximum security people. Maybe that's what the, the problem is. Cell status. I've got empty cells up here. Should be seven empty cells here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 empty cells. Ah. It's something to do with the cell quality policy in here. Use cell ratings. Our workforce is getting a little bit tired, so we're going to let them rest up for a minute. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to go and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.